this is the first stage preforming preforming process and uh, he is trying to get the maximum yield with the rough stone and he is checking the type of the condition of the stone whether it is silk inclusion middle inclusion or heavy inclusion and try to get the best yield and he is trying to get uh, the first shape of the piece he is the person who is design, deciding whether the stone cuts into a rounds or oval or emerald or pear or etc. Et now this is an oval shape it takes about two minutes this is silk inclusion piece an oval shape he is looking the condition whether it whether the, the sp stone has any inclusion inside first he is categorizing uh, the stones according to the type of the inclusion whether it is side inclusion or middle inclusion or heavy inclusions like that this is the main step of the whole process first step it is very important to make sure the maintain the whole yield of the total lot we have to record all the details at each process so after the preforming the supervisor has to record the size and the, all the details of the piece after getting the records we are sending that piece to calibrate this is the second process we are naming as calibrating process and first he has to glue the preformed stone to the stick properly yeah calibrating now now he is trying to get the exact size and the exact shape of the piece after calibrating we are issuing the piece to the cutting process Yeah, shaking size because after doing calibrating process, we are not expecting the size reducing at the cutting process. We we are giving only 0.1 tolerance to the cutter. So the calibrator has a responsibility to make the relevant uh, standard size of the piece. We will we will be getting a 8 by 6 oval shape. Of the piece. After calibrating process, she's she's getting uh, uh, calibrated pieces according to the ink uh, conditions and the number of pieces and the weight of the pieces and and the lot category. So. She, she has a stock of calibrated pieces and this is the issue in calibrated pieces details to cutting section and those uh, supervisors has to be maintained this file and uh, which time they are issuing uh, they are handing over uh, and color and the issuing number of pieces and both of supervisors has to be signed on the report to make sure they got same number of pieces and the other uh, cutting section supervisor got that number of pieces itself. We are maintaining each page for the relevant cutter and the date of the date we are issuing and the time and the lot number and sell as the category and the number of pieces and the type of the sapphire whether it is blue or pink or yellow and the weight of the piece and the color grade and the condition and the shape and the size so we are recording all the details when we are issuing the piece and we are make sure when we are returning the piece again we are measuring the size and if there is any change of the size we are putting a comment this is one of our internal papers which show how a, a, what a lot consists of right now in in this color blue we have marked 
the, the the conditions, you know, of the site, slight inclusions and you know stuff like that. And then uh, we we have it by shape. This is, uh, you know, if we take a lot of maybe three thousand pieces and it it would tell you exactly, uh, you know, now say in color blue, it is um, square, cushions. square cushions. So there is a lot of square cushions in this lot, right? That is how many percent, Tashi? 60%. It's about 60% of the lot is that particular shape, and square cushions. cushion is 2.3%. That is the, yeah. yeah, like that it goes on. These are all our internal reports. Then we'll show you the report that we prepare for the customer. Now this is like a, a final report, correct? Yeah, yes, sir. And this gives a total breakdown, say the 3,000 pieces in the whole lot, would we give a breakdown of each? you know category say for example square cushions if you take eight millimeter in color number two there is one piece in the whole lot and that piece okay. the percentage uh, for pieces is by the the whole lot is 0.47 percent which is 2.56 carats and if you want the percentage of uh, weight for that particular category that is the eight meter eight millimeter square cushion it is 0.75 percent. It goes on and on. This this is a total report of, you know, the whole lot. It gives um, the breakdown by size and by weight. So you whatever if you want to see how much. Say for example, we need to see uh, seven and a half by five and a half. Color number three. Emerald cut. It's here. Seven and a half, five and a half. Color number three. One piece. Percentage for pieces is 0.47, the real carat weight, and percentage for carat, uh, I mean, if you take by lot wise, 0.32%. Like that, we have the full total report for all the shapes, all the sizes, and all the colors. We want to make sure not to mix the pieces until they are getting final quality checking. That means name and the condition of the stone and the lot number. Name of the pattern, La Santa, and the lot number, 76A3, and the condition, SSI. We need to clean the piece very carefully after cutting and polishing. So we are using the stone with fire and close it for a few minutes. At the same time, he can do glue to the piece to a stick. Yes, now we are washing with the water and we have to make sure we should not uh, put into the as soon as possible after we are getting outside the stone because if so, the stone will be get damaged. So we are using a clean cloth and now he's checking final quality. Once the cutters are returning to the pieces to the production supervisor, she will hand over it to the quality department and the first quality supervisors are checking quality and if there is any repairs, they will issue the repairs which I shown uh, through which the form I showed you, repairs issue in details form. And after getting repairs, he's checking final quality. And if there is any repairs, we are marking the type of the repairs on the piece of paper. And, uh, we are again issuing the uh, piece to the relevant cutter to complete the repair. And we are giving exact time to complete the repair. Normally our uh, daily production would be around 140, 250 pieces per day. So uh, he's, after getting the production pieces in the evening, the next day uh, we are issuing uh, that uh, production pieces to the quality section and now they are uh, washing the piece uh, with wine spray 
and uh, check whether the pieces are met to the required stage of the quality. Name of the cutter and the lot number and the condition and the, what's the type of the repair. This is short form and all the cutters are known what's the da uh, repairs and after issuing these pieces for the repairing process they will do the repairing and return to back to the quality department. The stone should be very clean without any waxes which we glued to the stick. The pieces should be thoroughly washed. The main uh, pre-forma and final quality checker is a 20 years experience in the company and she he is almost 14 years experience and they have joined as the cutters at the beginning and after they are with their experience they, now they have promoted he's, he has promoted as the main in charge of the production and he has promoted as the quality supervisor uh, because now as they have joined to the company as the cutters now they know all the techniques and they know how to maintain the quality even he's he's the one who is training new cutters when we are recruiting new people we have to learn we have to teach them how to cut 